I'm gonna come back and change this to nine. Do you notice how we have these usernames here? And we also have links. It makes good sense to turn those into anchor tags, and we need to do that manually. We'll create a very simple helper function that will allow for that. Private function, and we'll call this filter tweet, and that needs to receive the tweet. And then it's simply going to use some regular expressions to find and replace usernames and links with anchor tags. So how will we call this? Well, it makes sense to first go this filter tweet, and then we pass this value in. That way we're not echoing out tweet text, we're echoing out that value filtered through this function. Now, if you're not familiar with regular expressions, I'm going to be talking about this at a very high level, and I highly recommend you do learn them because it's a vital skill to have, but I'll do my best to explain it on the way. Either way, don't let it deter you. It's not vital to what you need to learn in this lesson. We'll use the PHP preg replace function, and this allows us to search for a regular expression and replace whatever we find with any value we want. So let's begin. We're going to search for links. So those will begin with HTTP. Next, we need to search for the whole string. So we can do that by specifying look for anything that is not a space and we can use plus to designate one or more of those characters. Finally, I'm going to say those characters can be uppercase or lowercase, it doesn't matter. And then M stands for multiple lines. You can search as many lines as you need to. So let's take an example. We first say find HTTP, okay? It's going one character at a time, found, found, found. Then we say find as many characters as you can that are not a space, one or more. So we go, okay, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. Up oh, there's a space, no more matching. So at this point, this full URL is matched. The second parameter of this function is going to be, what do we replace it with? Well, we want to wrap that URL within an anchor tag. So we'll do that right now. The third parameter is going to be, what are we working with? We are working with tweet. So how do we reference the value that was found when we did this regular expression? Well, if we wrap it within parentheses, we can do that. If I type one, that now refers to what is wrapped in this first parentheses. If we had another set, we could do dollar sign two. And it's as simple as that. Let's next return the tweet and test it out. If I scroll down, it looks like we have one link here, but correctly, it is now an anchor tag. I wanna do one more for the usernames. Let's take care of that right now. Now, while we could put both of these searches into one preg replace, I find that it's easier for me to come back to if I separate these into two. Now, there will be a small performance hit, but I think it's okay for this case. One more, and this time we are looking for usernames. So I'm going to look for the at symbol because a Twitter username begins with at, and then we're going to look for anything that is not a space and one or more of them. The exact same thing we did before. Look for an at symbol in Vado Web Dev and continue matching characters, anything that is not a space. Eventually it will get to one. In that case, we're done and we've matched our username. Once again, I will specify that those letters can be uppercase or lowercase with the I flag. Next, again, we're going to wrap it within an anchor tag and we are working with that same tweet text. So we will link that, but we can't just do one because that would have a href of in our case, Envato Web Dev, but we need it to go to twitter.com slash username. And then we will echo out the username again. Refresh, and it looks like I have a mistake. Let's make sure that's dollar one and not the number one. There we are. So now we have links and usernames directing where they should be. Good, and that's all we're going to do for our simple filtering. 